Hi darlings, this is going to be for my Virgos and this is going to be for the week of the 20th through the 28th of February. I'm just going to take it straight through to the end of the month. I hope you guys are well. Oh, and the cards that I'm using are going to be my Cosmic Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'm going to use tarot with keywords. So Virgo, this one is going to be for you. So Virgo, this is for you. The Queen of Cups, there is a water energy around you that could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Or this could be you feeling very emotional not too long ago. The Five of Swords, this could be you feeling stuck about something that you can't make a decision about. Or maybe your emotions have you feeling just like blah and you can't move right now the seven of cups seems like you're in your head about the past maybe that's why you're stuck and stuck and that's why you're emotional the nine of cups i do see love thinking about love the three of cups i would say yes The Three of Pentacles. I see the universe is building something for you. Hmm. But the Five of Pentacles tell, I'm sorry, the Five of Wands tells me that you are in your head a lot. You are just having a battle, conflict. The conflict has to do with lovers. Our love and the seven of swords it might have to do with maybe someone telling you a lie maybe something came to light that you saw or you found out was a lie okay so let's see the queen of cups The Page of Cups. She wants to look out the window. So the Page of Cups. Um, in this emotional state you, that you're in, um, you need, you're listening to your heart more. You're going more with your heart. You're being really sentimental. You're waiting for new messages. That's why you're stuck. Lay down, girl. Lay down, baby. She is a bully. She is such a little bully. The next card that came up on top of the um, Princess of um, Cup, I mean, the Queen of Cups, was the Six of Pentacles. Whatever message or opportunity that you received or waited for, it gave you balance. Six of Pentacles came. But then right after that came the devil. You're feeling kind of trapped. 
This could be some kind of an addiction. This could just be something negative in your environment. This could be something like temptation. This could be jealousy, obsession. It could be substance abuse, you know, whether it's food or whatever, overeating. But there's something negative in your environment. <clears throat> That's what the devil card shows, okay? Just something not good in your environment. Whatever it is, it has you stuck. And it might have to do with money or it might have to do with an um with you. Queen of Pentacles. This is a, a precaution to you. If you're trying to invest or you're thinking about investing, from what the card says, um, just avoid any misaligned investments. Maybe that's what the devil is there for. Maybe what you're going to do is maybe it's not the best idea or maybe it wasn't the best idea because this is past energy. However, you're very nurturing and you're practical and you bought the money. You like the money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I see the page of pentacles here and you're manifesting. You're manifesting financial opportunities. And you're waiting for it, for the news to come. And it might come or it came already, the star card. It came already. But why are you thinking about the past? Now suddenly it changes to love. The Queen of Swords. This is an um, air sign. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This person, um, she gives very um, straight advice, um, sage advice. Um, but her communication is like really sharp and I don't think, um, she means to come across like crude, but sometimes she does. The cup, the upright queen is telling you, um, to make judgments without em emotion Take inventory. I don't, I said, don't make judgment. I mean, who are we to judge, you know? But um, take inventory of all of the facts before making a decision. So before you make a decision, take inventory. And if you don't, darling, you're going to end up with multiple priorities. You're going to be juggling stuff. You're going to feel a little off balance. I got the two of pentacles here. And then the two of swords on top of that, which is balance. You need to balance and you need to make a decision here. It's going to be a difficult decision, whatever the decision has to do with, whether it's the money or whether it's this love. Five of Pentacles. With this love, you have the mindset of lack. You have the mindset of lack. You feel that you've lost. Um, even if it's some financial loss that you've suffered, it's just temporary. Don't stay there. The longer you stay in that place of lack, is the more that it will come. So just bring yourself out of it. Oh, well, I mean, if you made a mistake, you made a mistake. You're human. And the Queen of Cups. Today, you might be feeling sensitive or you might be feeling pretty sensitive about right about now, you know. But you're attuned to your emotional needs, which is good. You're still very compassionate and caring. And the Four of Pentacles. You've managed to accumulate a significant amount of money, right? Just don't get greedy. 
You might have suffered a little loss, but you do have enough from what the cards say. So get out of this mindset of lack. Look around you, okay, darlings? And the Three of Cups. The Six of Swords, this love. Are you moving away to find this love? Transitioning, moving on. Is someone helping you move on? You're releasing the old baggage. Good for you. Shed that old you. And come in to the new you. You deserve it. And the Nine of Cups again. Your wishes will come true, darling. You have struggled with finding a purpose. And your journey has been long. But you're at a point of feeling joy again. Profound happiness is in your future. That was the Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Wands. Stop questioning yourself. Okay. If you have a creative project at hand that you would like to do, go ahead and do it, it says. The Ace of Wands means new beginnings, the urge to create something new. And it can also mean fertility. Okay. And the Three of Pentacles. Let's see. You're going to have new opportunities for growth. So just keep your eyes open, all right? Whatever the universe is building for you, the Three of Cups came on top of it. You're entering into a very happy time in your life. You may be reconnecting with long lost friends, a relative, or even a loved one. Good for you. You're going to have celebration. And then the Ten of Pentacles came. Wealth, financial security, family, inheritance. Being able to take care of your family financially and domestic love. And the Two of Cups, it says the, lo the love is for sure unified. So whoever it is coming, this is some good love. Or it could be that you're falling in love with yourself. And you're figuring out that you can do things. Whichever way. I think it's positive. Um, the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands, the struggle. Who you're struggling with? And the Seven of Swords, there is definitely some kind of conflict going on. Is the conflict going on um, in your environment? Did someone betray you? Is that why you want to move away to, you know, release all this old crap? Hmm. You keep looking over your shoulder, you know. What are you looking for? You know, don't expect the worst, all right? Go within and ask the question. Whatever questions you need to ask, go within and meditate and you will find the answers. We all have suffered some kind of trauma or betrayal somewhere along the line. The important thing is that we heal because if we don't heal, we just keep making the same mistakes over and over again. It's like going to be like a cycle. And we got to stop the cycle, you know, by changing. Then the Knight of Swords. Something is coming pretty fast to you. You're driven to succeed no matter what. You're on a mission and there's no stopping you. You're on a mission where this love is concerned. Woo. Good for you. It's coming. 
também. The lovers, the knight of cups. You're feeling in touch with your emotions and have no qualms with listening to your heart over your head. Be sure that you're keeping things in check as everything needs balance. Okay, darlings? So make sure everything is balanced because let me tell you, personal experience, when things are all out of balance, you are the one that feels it the most, you know? That's why you have balance has to be restored. Or there has to be balance. And there might even be a proposal. Mm, might be the lovers. And darling, whatever challenges you're facing, this is the seven of wands here. You're above your challenges, okay? You are above your challenges. We all have them and we all have struggles. But don't stay in them. You know what I mean? Just try to rise up above. Take a deep breath and keep on moving. Don't stop. Don't let anything make you quit. And the Knight of Wands. <laughs> this love is passionate. And it's coming towards you. Woo. But this Seven of Swords tells me something isn't right about it. Mm, what is it telling me? It might come with some lies, okay? Be aware, it might come with some lies. Oh, it's going to give you anxiety and worry, possibly. Reach out to someone to talk to them. Because this, whatever is going to happen, or you might just be thinking that the worst will happen. You know, and it's keeping you up, you know, because you can't believe that you met someone so nice and everything. I mean, you're not going to just hop and just marry them or nothing like that. You know, and don't push things and don't make things try to happen that fast. All right? Get to know the person. If you see a red flag, turn the other way. You know the red flags. Listen to your, intu your intuition. So, baby, so just be aware. This this might cause you um some fear. The card actually says fear is an awful thing. It's difficult to reach out for help when it hits. Don't hide when you're stricken with grief or sadness. Sharing trauma or stress with others can be therapeutic. So it can help you to speak. And then came the Four of Cups. So you're working on your emotions. You're probably going to go within because you feel stagnant. You know, you don't, you're not going to be sure what to do. Um, I'm sure you're going to figure things out. Um, you're going to think about it. And then at the end of this cycle here, you know, um, the came the four of wands. Tensions are going to be high and you're in the midst of a conflict, competition or change that is in that is impacting your ability to move forward. You and the other involved are unable to find common ground. Everyone is fighting to be heard, and yet no one is listening. So calm your storm, all right? And you can have celebration, peace, and harmony. So maybe if you see that something is wrong, maybe the person is open-minded enough to talk, and maybe you can bring it up and have a discussion. Just make sure alcohol isn't involved. Because alcohol does a lot of things that, you know, not are really, not really nice. So, whatever you want to say when you drink it, it comes out the wrong way. So, do it sober and clear-minded and see what happens. I love you, okay? And don't be hard on yourself. Bye. <laughs>